Today, we're making French bread. Come on in, welcome to my home. Have you ever had one of those recipes that you were certain that you've made before? Then I went back and I checked and I haven't made it for you. Super simple recipe. I'm using my bread maker simply because I love my bread maker and that's what makes this so easy. Now you need to put the ingredients in, in the order that it is totally suggested for your bread maker. Now if you want to see me do like other special videos, different kind of breads, one of the things that you can do is you can check out my Patreon because I want to make these different recipes for you but I have to make sure that I'm actually going to use them. I know I'm going to be using French bread because I'm going to be using that later in a recipe you're going to see really soon. But today we're making this so, so simple. So I'm starting off with my water. All the ingredients are listed down below in the description. Pour my water in. And then of course we're going to use our salt. That is a good pinch of sea salt or you can use like a teaspoon of regular salt. I'll add my flour, make a well in the center, and then add my yeast. I'll place this into my bread maker and then set it on the dough setting and just let it do its thing. I can just walk away and it can have all its fun. We'll come back once we are done with that setting. If you are doing this by hand, you are going to have to mix and knead it until you have a smooth and elastic dough. Then you're going to cover that and let it raise for about a 45 minutes to an hour. All right, our dough is done. I am going to take it out of the bread pan. My hands are lightly floured. Probably should have floured them a little bit more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to knead this and then form it into a fairly nice size loaf. Transfer that over to my pan, which has been lightly coated with cornmeal, and then cover it. And then let this rest and raise for about an hour. After an hour, your bread has risen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut slits across the top. Just a few. That is to release steam. Then I'm going to put this into the oven and let it bake for about 20 minutes. Now, here's what you can do. You can then brush this with an egg uh, wash, which is just egg and water mixed together. Brush it over the top of it and do it that way. I am not going to do that. I know how exactly I want to use this. So I'm going to put this in the oven right now and let it go. After 20 minutes, you just want to switch your pan around so that way you have even baking. I have my oven preheated at 375 degrees. Our bread is out of the oven. I sliced it. It is steaming hot and so good. Now, if you're wondering why I sliced it this way, it's because we have another recipe that's going to come up using this very bread. It is crispy. It has this wonderful texture. I did not need to egg coat it or anything. It is so good and so wonderful. Now, if you make this, let me know. You can get a hold of me on most social media at CM Coleman Home. And I hope to get to see you next time where we use this bread in a really cool recipe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can share it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel. I love making these videos for you and I hope I get to see you again next time.